There are a lot of great live streaming choices out there these days, but it's hard enough to learn one piece of software and how to stream with it. How are you supposed to figure out three? Well, today I'm gonna compare three full featured live streaming programs that are totally free. OBS, Polypop, and Prism Live Studio. We're gonna talk about the pros and cons of each so you can decide which program is best My YouTube friends. Now I chose these three streaming programs because they're highly featured and competent as streaming applications. Any one of these would be a great choice for live streaming. With that being said, your equipment, your computer skills, and your live streaming goals may align much better with one of these programs than some of the others. Matching you up with the right streaming tool so you can find the success you're looking for is the goal here. There are links in the description so you can download and check out each one of these for yourself. And of course, they're all completely and totally free. So you know what? Let's get to it! Let's start with the pros for OBS first since it is the most popular streaming tool out there. So number one, OBS is totally free and open source. Number two, it offers a wide number of customization options, including the ability to add multiple scenes, customize audio and video settings, and add live graphics and text overlays. Number three, it's cross-platform, meaning it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Number four, it has a large active community of users providing a wealth of support and resources. Number five, it's regularly updated with new features and improvements. Pro number six, it can be used for live streaming on a variety of platforms, including YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. Number seven, it has low system requirements, making it a good choice for users with older or less powerful computers. Number eight, it can be used for stream recordings as well as live streaming. Number nine, it supports a wide range of video and audio codexes and file formats. And number 10, there are hundreds of community created plugins to expand the OBS functionality. Next, let's look at the pros for the most unique streaming program available today. Number one, Polypop has a really unique setup and a UI that's actually really fun and easy to set up and use. Number two, it has a built-in scene editor that allows for easy creation and customization of professional looking and truly unique transitions and graphics. Number three, it supports a variety of streaming platforms including YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. Number four, it allows for real-time editing and interaction with the effects during the live stream. Number five, it has the ability to schedule and pre-record live streams. Number seven, it has an incredible built-in alert system that's particularly useful for Twitch broadcasting. Number eight, Polypop has an absolutely amazing 3D text and graphics engine that allows you to customize your scenes and alerts in a way that no other streaming program can. Number nine, it has multi-streaming built right in. Number 10, it's regularly updated with new features and improvements. Now let's talk about the pros for the newest full featured live streaming tool on this list. And of course that's Prism Live Studio. So number one, Prism Live Studio is geared towards professional content creators offering advanced features such as chroma key, multi-camera support, and the ability to stream to multiple platforms at once. Number two, it has a really easy to use interface that's gonna have you streaming a great production in almost no time at all. Number three, it offers a wide range of customization options for audio and video settings. Number four, it supports a variety of platforms for live streaming, including YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. Number five, it supports a wide range of video and audio codecs and file formats. Number six, it integrates with popular streaming tools such as Streamlabs and Stream Elements. Number seven, it has an amazing array of easy to use text tools, effects, and backgrounds. Number eight, it has support to easily add an iPhone or an Android phone as a camera or just to share the screen. Number nine, it has a fantastic tool to allow you to draw directly on the screen in real time 
making it an absolutely amazing tool for tutorials and teaching live streams. Number 10, it's regularly updated with new features and improvements. Likes and comments are super easy things that you can do to help push this video to a wider audience. So take a second down below and let me know how I'm doing and while you're there, if you're not subscribed, please do. It really does help me continue to make content that helps you. So thanks. Now let's take a look at some of the cons for these programs. And of course, we're gonna start again with OBS. Number one, it's probably the most difficult and complicated of all three to learn and use. Number two, some of the user created tools can cause OBS to become unstable. Number three, it does not have any built in multi stream capabilities. Now let's look at the Polypop cons. Number one, the audio setup is less comprehensive than the other two options. It can make playing video sources a little bit on the difficult side. Number two, the 3D engine can really stress computers without a dedicated graphics card. Number three, it can be a bit confusing to learn at first because it's just so different than the other two. Now let's look at Prism Live Studios cons. It's only available on the PC. Number two, it's more resource intensive than either of the others. And number three, game capture seems to be a little bit buggy at the moment. So which one is right for you? If you're using an older, slower machine, then OBS is definitely the choice for you. And the sheer power of all the community add-ons and the audio and video tools make it well worth the learning curve if your plan is for a very complex live stream. However, if you're just starting out and you have good equipment, you're gonna be able to create incredible streams very quickly with Prism Live Studio because of all the simple and intuitive UI and tools that are already included. Now, if Twitch is where you wanna stream or you wanna create something totally unique with 3D elements, Polypop is a great choice because of its built-in alert system and an awesome 3D engine. This should make your decision a bit easier, but let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful. And there are still folks out there who want to add guests or have a truly old machine that just won't run these applications. For those folks, there are browser-based live streaming tools, so let me know in the comments if you want me to do a comparison on all of those tools. And if you want to learn more about OBS, Polypop, or Prism, you can check any one of these videos out. Big thanks to all the sponsors that help support this channel. You can find their links down below in the description under the heading sponsors. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you, so thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.